Hey everyone, it's Diane. So I am going to do a balloon smash on this canvas. I am going to try and make this a quicker one um, just for everyone's benefit if you want to see some of my larger and longer balloon smashes. Um, please look back in my videos. I'm not stopping the smashes. I really like them. I'm just short on time tonight. So, I just got my paints over here. This is titanium white on here. Just gonna get some of the bubbles out on it. And just move it around. And this is nice and thin, which is really what you um, ideally want um, for your canvas when covering it. Doesn't matter what the color is. I mean, you, you want it to have some body, but not be super thick. So I'm just taking this with my hand and making sure it's all covered. Some people do not put a background on um, their balloon smashes, and in my experience, when you do that, you end up with balloon smashes that look like fireworks, for, for lack of a better term, um, which is cool. I mean, that's it's completely awesome. It just depends what you're going for, I suppose. So let me just get a paper towel here and we'll get some colors down. So I have some colors that I've had mixed for a while that I want to try out. Um, again, this is a much smaller canvas. This is only uh, an 8 by 10 but I did want to get something um, something on here. So, this is Prussian Blue by Soho. You'll hear me talk about them a lot. I use a lot of their paints. They, You can get their paints at Jerry's Artorama. If you're just starting out, though, I suggest you start with Artist Loft, which you can get at Michael's. Those are very good paints. Um, if you want to spend the money and get the Soho, more power to you. That's fine. Um, it's just I didn't personally do that till I was uh, doing this poor painting idea for a good, I don't know, three months. Um, just because they're not cheap. But you can get those at Jerry's Artorama. Jerry's does not carry craft paints, just so you're aware of that. Um, you have to get those at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. This is Creative Inspiration's Purple Lake. I'm gonna put a little of that there. And normally I'd like to go with a little thicker of a base. Um, But I'm also trying to use up some of my paints so I can make fresh ones. So after that, we are going to try the Soho um, Cadmium Blue-Green Hue Light. Remember, this is a little canvas, so I'm not using a lot of paint. Um, after that, I'm going to go in with some of the Folk Art um, Blue Ice, or Ice Blue, sorry. This is a metallic paint that you can get at Hobby Lobby. And then, you know, I like color on my paintings, so I'm going to put... I'm not going to put it in there. 
I'm gonna put some gold in there. It goes against everything on the canvas, but I'm still gonna put some in. And this is um, this is Soho Gold. It is not a metallic, but it is my favorite gold from all that I've tried. I've tried many. Um, I feel like I need something bright. Well, let's get started and we'll see how this looks. Yeah, let me get a few paper towels. a very small balloon because I have a very small canvas. But I'm still going to hold it the same as I always do. Oh, very pretty. Those colors, I love them. They look very cool. Um, I'm going to get a second, oh, you know what, I don't have one ready. I'm not going to get a second canvas. I'm going to just wipe the paint off over here. Normally I would get a second canvas, but they're all completely wrapped right now, so I don't want to take time to do that. So let's do this instead and get all the pretty colors on the canvas. I will want to do the sides. It's a little slippery. I think it just got a little, little slippery there. Actually, I think my base of titanium white is a little too fluid. And that's why we're getting it to be, because it's pulling up a lot. So I'm just going to keep wiping it off over here and move on to the next paper towel. This would be a good example of the balloon smash that doesn't go exactly as you wanted. And I believe that a lot of that is because I kind of just decided I want to do a quick smash because it's fun when really I need to be more prepared like I was for my other larger projects. It is, I am still having it come off the side though and it looks beautiful. I am loving that purple lake because it's mixing and it's making almost a red. See, that's a lot of white though, I gotta get rid of that. That white is too fluid. It's too fluid. It's okay, we'll get rid of it. I'm just gonna go down the sides there. It's coming off the other sides. Uh, wipe the spoon off. I am getting a small amount of cells. Now remember, used a much smaller amount of paint. That looks pretty cool. Take that. I am realizing though that I need to use larger canvases. Oh, I love that. It has the gold in it. Um, yeah, bigger canvases, always. Which I have, I have them. I just thought I'd try a small one. Not even to, basically just to show, not to sell or anything like that. I don't, I don't really sell small canvases. I just use them to play with, and I always record what I do, whether it's good or bad. 
and sometimes I share the bad stuff. It's not bad. It's just not great as the other ones. See, it's getting it's getting a little too muddy. So I'm gonna stop right there. And let me put this in the trash can a moment. Look at the sides, they're all good. I will say it is easier to deal with a lot less paint. Um, let me see how close this will go in. So there she is. There's my first 8x10 balloon smash. I'm going to pop some of these bubbles. And I'm getting some nice cells and lacing, which the longer it sits here, the more I will get. So I will take you down for a look in just a few minutes. Hey, y'all. Okay, so I took you down for a look up close. Again, this is just a very small canvas, so I'm just showing you the smash. I do like this up left-hand corner with all those colors. And there's some nice selling going on in there. I'm trying not to get too close because of the lighting, which again, changing hopefully within the next two weeks I have timelines for everything so let me get here and see if I can show you this way now there's some really nice cells right in here they're very tiny though but I'm pretty pleased with it as I turn my camera. I don't want to make you sick. Looks really good. Alright, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit the bell so you can be notified of my next uploads. And smash that thumbs up button if you like the video. Have a good one.